Hello friends, welcome back to the shop. Today is Sunday, June 28th, and it is a spectacular summer day here in southeastern Pennsylvania. Threat of thunderstorms has not happened yet, so we'll see how it goes. Uh, and my apologies for the hat, but I've spent the uh, most of the morning, it's, it's actually about 11.30 right now, I spent most of the morning uh, working outside, and uh, you don't want to see what's under this hat. <laughs> so, <laughs> sorry, you don't always get me pretty. You never get me pretty. Uh, let me light up here. So I am enjoying some uh, haunted bookshop in an Europe. Uh, I recently ran out of haunted bookshop just for a couple days, and I've sort of been on this rebound binge. Uh, I don't think I've smoked anything since it's come in. I forgot to gather my props, so I'll be back in just a minute. Alright, sorry about that. Bad planning. So, I've got... Well, I am sorry, there's like a shadow on my face. I have to get better. So I've got something new I wanted to show you. Uh, I'm pretty excited about this, but I'm, I'm a pipe geek. So. Uh, these are new cop replacement stems that I just uh, finished up. You can see they are red, white, and blue themed, and the idea was to have something patriotic for the 4th of July, or any other time you want to be patriotic smoking your corn cob pipe. Uh, got a limited number of these. I only have, uh, one, one of these is sold, actually. Uh, so I've got two others here. Let me put this one down. They all uh, have Delrin stems. They accept a 6mm filter, although they're they're designed just like the Missouri Meerschaum uh, stems that you get with the pipe in that you don't have to have the filter in the smoke them. Uh, they are hand cut acrylic, uh, nice comfortable button, and they are designed to fit the um, Country Gentleman or any Missouri Meerschaum filtered pipe. Uh, I think there's one or two that they won't fit, but they're the big ones. And you wouldn't buy these for those anyway. Uh, so anyway, I've got uh, currently two of these are available, and I've got two more that I should finish up by uh, probably by Tuesday. So if you're interested, uh, get in touch with me. You can either uh, send me an email, canerodpiper at gmail.com, and that is uh, on the About page of my channel. You can get in touch with me, with me through the website, canerodpipes.com. <coughs> Excuse me. Or you can um, contact me through Instagram, um, Kane Rod Piper on Instagram. So, anyway, I thought those would be fun. I'm not making many of them. But uh, every once in a while I get, I was in a situation where I had pipes that I was working on, but there was a lot of pauses as I was doing things, you know, and uh, I had the next pipe in line, I had to wait for a special man to come in, which just came in. So I took advantage of that time, and making these cob stems for me is, is well, I think they're fun, you know, but it's also a great way to kind of practice the, the stem making art, because you, you make a batch of five or six, and uh, you, just, you just go through all the steps repetitively. Uh, it's good stuff. So things have been uh, going pretty well the past couple of days. It's... Uh, if you joined us on, on Friday night, we had a fantastic live stream with uh, Ed, the armchair piper. And if you haven't seen that, uh, go check it out. I'll try to remember to put a link below. Ed's a really interesting guy, and we had a great time talking to him. And next week, we're going to be doing a uh, solo live stream, uh, which will be July 3rd, so right before the July 4th holiday. Shop-wise, plenty of stuff going on, uh, a lot of pipes to work on, and I'm uh, going to be getting back to that later today, actually. I was, I was taking off Sunday for a couple weeks. This week, I, I just have a couple of pipes that I want to finish up, so I'll get those done today. It won't take me very long. Got a lot of work done outside this morning. Happy about that. The weather has been funny in that 
you know, it'll, it'll be a beautiful sunny day, and then all of a sudden it'll rain. And, you know, the thunderstorms, they come and they go, and you, you go outside ten minutes after the rain passed, and you can't even tell that it rained. So I've been dodging those. Starting to think, uh, my wife and I are starting to think about the possibility of a uh, late summer, early fall vacation. I don't know, every, everything is obviously screwed up this year, but normally, uh, right now, I'd be planning to head up to Vermont to see my dad. Uh, Vermont's still very funny about people coming in, and I, you know, I think that the risk is very low, but I don't want to take something up to my dad who's in his 70s. I, I'd just rather play it safe, you know. And, and before somebody comments, I know there's no rationale behind that. I just, it's just what I feel comfortable doing. Um, I'm not worried about myself at all, uh, but I would feel terrible if I was wrong and my dad got sick. So that's the way I'm playing it. <laughs> so I don't know when I'm going to get to see him, but I, I definitely want to see him before the the cold weather sets in and, you know, <laughs> northern Vermont is embedded in snow and ice. Uh, but we're hopefully going to get to a beach sometime either late summer or early fall, and I'm looking forward to that. And that's really about it. It's been pretty uneventful. You know, it's, it's, uh, it's getting a little bit difficult to find things to to talk about on these uh, these shows because I'm not doing very much except working on pipes and doing my my day job and doing a little bit of yard work. Uh, the Burley's come along nice. It's uh, not ye big now. It's funny. I got I got some that I kept like I I had too many. I only wanted to grow two plants and I just don't have the space right now for more than that. And this was just kind of an experiment this year, and I wound up. I think I've got, let's see, it's four, five. I've got six plants that are still like in, in seed starting pots, and those things are growing like crazy. So it, it's really a very robust plant once it's going. And uh, I'm, I'm trying to think if there's places I can hide these in the yard from my wife because she's not going to be too happy to, to see me growing, you know, eight of these things. But uh, uh, probably a couple of them, I'll, maybe I'll put them in, in a couple of five gallon buckets or something. I don't know. We'll see. rest of the garden is coming along nicely. We got, um, we got some tomato plants. There's one tomato plant that's, that's wilting and I don't know what's going on there because there's plants right near it that are thriving. Uh, got a bunch of, uh, I like these Hungarian peppers, the yellow banana peppers. I, I like to, I make them, I like peppers and eggs, uh, but I also pickle them uh, at, the, at the end of the growing season. You usually get a big bunch of them and uh, I, I cut them up and uh, pickle them with some spices and they're just refrigerator pickle not not canning pickle and you know I like to like to put those on sandwiches and things so they're coming along really well we got some cucumbers uh, pickling cucumbers and regular cucumbers that are mm -hmm. it, it it's been it's been an odd growing season for us it's not not perfect but it's it's good it's, it's all good so I'm happy about that uh, yeah, and the flowers are, that my wife has had me put in are doing well. Uh, the flowers that she still hasn't put me do it, had, still hasn't had me plant are not doing so well. She, she has this bad habit of buying potted plants and then not knowing where she wants to put them in the ground. So we'll I'll see if I can get her a little bit motivated this afternoon and maybe she can mark out those spots and I can get, get those in the ground tomorrow morning. I usually get up pretty early, so I get a couple hours before I start my real job. And it's still cool in the morning. Anyway, folks, I hope you've had a fantastic weekend. Uh, wish you all the best for the remainder of Sunday and a great week ahead. And until we talk again, I'll look forward to talking to you all again very soon. Goodbye now.